This week, we're in New York with Misty Copeland. All right, guys, so we just landed in New York. Uh, right now, as you can see, we're getting, trying to get our packages here, and it's taking a little longer than usual, oddly enough. So, yeah, we're excited to get our day started. are at the Boys and Girls Club, a place near and dear to Misty's heart that uh, really was where she got into uh, ballet back in the day. So we thought, what better place to come uh, than right here in uh, New York. Is there anything you're looking forward to in this interview? Nothing. I can't think of anything more miserable than having the opportunity to sit down with somebody as inspirational and motivational as uh, somebody who would like her. We are at the Boys and Girls Club gym, <laughs> and this is where we're gonna this is where we're gonna do our interview with Mr. Copeland. And oh my God, why don't you have the camera right up my face? Hi. Hey. Hi. It's so nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. And as Gilda told you, how long we've been harassing her for? Well, I've been hearing your name for so long, oh, and I just watched the the reel you sent. I am very impressive. Oh, thanks. I mean, you've got quite roster of people you've interviewed. We're rolling. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna tilt that to the side. I remember very vividly, you know, being like uh, in, in the middle of the night or something and, and just jumping in the car and, uh, you know, out of out of fear of, um, yeah, her, her, our lives. I, I think it's probably evident if you listening on that she has been through a lot. I was just so impressed with that. Uh, his preparation and knowledge and um, gen genuine, you know, care and, and interest in, in what um, I do. And uh, it was really, like, fulfilling to just be able to go back and, and really uh, expand on my whole journey and where I'm at now. To be the lead, you know, the first principal dancer in a full-length classical work as a black woman at American Ballet Theater, I needed to get on the stage at Lincoln Center at the Metropolitan Opera House. And, and as a black woman, what that meant uh, was huge. It was neat to be able to talk to her about that, for her to be open, as well as to do it here at the Boys and Girls Club, a place that was so key to her life, and then see uh, kids that are now in a program that she has created to inspire the next generation. I'm so, so proud of you guys. And can, can I see a little bit? Are you guys gonna just yeah. be, do your normal thing. Don't do anything different because I'm here. I mean, he really dug in there and did his research, and some of the stuff I was like, oh, I forgot that even happened. How do you know about that? <laughs>